Welcome back, everybody. In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. When it comes to home security, you might think of complex installations and monthly subscriptions, but now technology can make it more accessible to protect your home before you leave it empty to go on summer vacation. There's ADT, CPI, and now DIY. The big change recently in security is that uh, smartphones have allowed us to monitor things in our home ourselves and that's kind of opened the door for products that cost a lot less because we can install them ourselves. Technology like motion sensors, cameras, and smart lights are providing more options outside of traditional wired systems for a fraction of the cost. One that I like a lot is called Piper. It uh, costs a little over $200. It's a small device that sits on your shelf with a camera and built-in sensors. It detects motion and sound with the ability to arm the system wirelessly. If you have a bigger space and more doors and windows to secure, I like a system called iSmart Alarm that has different door sensors and window sensors and motion trackers you can put through your home. You'll get alerts on your smartphone if something is amiss. You can even answer the door when you're not at home with a smart doorbell like the ring. Hello. Smart bulbs like Be On can also trick would-be burglars into thinking someone's home. They also can replay your previous night's lighting. So if you're gone, you can just kind of hit replay and the bulbs will turn on and off in the same pattern as the night before to make it look like your home. Keeping an eye on your home when your guard dogs are slacking off. How cool is all that, right? Well, the iSmart Alarm, the Ring Doorbell, and Be On light bulbs will cost you around $200. Now, for starter kits, one cheap, uh, one cheap way to do it yourself, uh, this is the best hack to do, one of the best hacks at least, is to use a camera from an old phone or tablet, just go ahead and set it up, connect it to a power source, and use the free app Presence, which will let you see through your camera via Wi-Fi. That's probably the cheapest way to do it before you move on to something more expensive. Back over to you.